Geek Fitness. Hey everybody, it's Robert. Um, I've got a secret to tell you this week. Over the last week and a half, I weighed myself this morning and I've gained three pounds. Now, that would usually sound like a very bad thing, but I'm actually ecstatic about it and I'll tell you why. So, about exactly, almost exactly within a few days, I started... Uh, weight training as part of my uh, weight loss plan and I don't even really consider it a weight loss plan anymore I consider it more of a a body transformation so two months ago I started lifting weights I've got a room kind of in my basement that I've got some kettlebells barbells some dumbbells um, and I kind of put together a program just on my own just you know alternating legs and upper body and I've started lifting weights so I started seeing results I started seeing some definition again in in my muscles I hadn't lifted weights in literally probably two decades close to two decades so I started lifting weights incorporating that uh, three to four times a week I'm pretty steady four times a week now of lifting weights and um, about a week and a half ago, I started taking a supplement. Now, there's not many supplements I would take. I take like fish oil. I take a multivitamin. Um, I take turmeric. Uh, and uh, that's about it. I think that's... Oh, sometimes I take some beet, beet powder um, and, and just in water. Um, but I did start taking uh, creatine since I'm lifting weights. Now, creatine, there's many, this is probably the most studied supplement on the market, and it is very effective for building muscle. And and the, I, the way it works is it really gives your muscle more energy to get more out of your lifting workouts. Um, creatine is a naturally occurring substance that's found in uh, raw meat, for example, like 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 beef and I think fish, different things, but there's no way you could eat enough of that to get get it naturally. And I think that's why creatine is such a, a great supplement because you have to eat like a pound of raw beef every single day or very lightly cooked beef every day. And that would be way too expensive for most people to do. So creatine uh, gets in your muscles. And the reason I've gained weight over the last week. It's not because I've cheated. My diet has been very consistent, eating, you know, whole foods, staying under 1500 calories every day. And my cardio has actually increased. I have been doing uh, more towards an hour. You know, I usually do between 30 minutes and an hour every day of cardio. And all last week, I was much closer to an hour or even over an hour on my cardio every day so my diet didn't change my cardio increased uh, my lifting definitely got better I was able to get more reps I felt stronger I was seeing more results especially in my upper body of my musculature and the reason I've gained weight is because uh, and I've read a lot about this is that when you start taking creatine it draws m water into your muscle cells. Um, so it's water weight gain, but it's not subcutaneous gain, you know, that you would see from like if your sodium intake was too high and you get bloated. It's in your muscles. So it does make your muscles a little bigger and a little harder, but that water can add anywhere between one and 10 pounds, depending on how much lean muscle mass you have. So when you start taking creatine, the way you really see if it's working is if you've actually gained weight. And I did. I've gained three pounds over the last week. Uh, it's not fat. It is water weight in my muscle. I know that for a fact because I just went and bought some new uh, pairs of jeans and I was down to a size 36. I just bought a pair of 38 shorts uh, about a month ago and now 
uh, those are getting too big. And so now I'm down to 36 size jeans. Remember, I started around, a, I was actually a 45 when I started my weight loss journey. So my pants were, you know, 44s and 46s. So now I'm down to a 36. So I've essentially lost 10 inches in in just my weight. So I haven't fit in a 36 since, uh, I, I don't know how long, probably when I was married. Uh, which was a long time ago. So uh, I'm not upset about uh, the three pound weight gain. And this is just kind of, I wanted to share this just to, you know, explain why my image has 63 pounds lost now instead of 66 pounds lost is it's not just about the weight, right? You, what you want is to be healthy and to look good. It's not about how much the scale says exactly. And this is true for men and women. Uh, and that's why I don't think you should weigh yourself every day. Um, you know, unless your doctor has a reason, you know, like if you have congestive heart failure, for example, you need to weigh yourself every day to make sure your lungs aren't, you know, holding water and you're not getting in danger. So if your doctor tells you you need to weigh yourself every day, you need to weigh yourself every day. But if you're just trying to lose weight, don't do it every day because there's so much fluctuation, especially with water weight. Uh, it could be pounds, right? And depending on when you eat and things like that, um, it's going to upset you and it, it can actually set you back if you're paying too much attention to the scale. Uh, the other things are more important. How you look, uh, how you when you look at your body in the mirror, how it looks. Are you seeing positive changes, the way your clothes fit, measurements, you know, measure your neck and your chest and your, uh, and your waist and your hips and your, and your arms, you know, some places you might want to see getting bigger with more muscle. Some places you might want to see getting smaller. So those things are as important, if not more important than actually what the scale says, because there's a lot more to your body than just the amount of fat on it that in that you know impacts what the scale says so that's very important and the more muscle you gain muscle weighs more than fat right so you got to consider that too if you're trying to gain muscle uh, that's gonna the scale it's gonna offset any fat loss that you have so there's other ways to measure exactly how much fat and lean mass your body has um, I think there's some home scales you can grab on to electronic things that will give you an estimate. I don't think they're that accurate. There's DEXA body scans you can go pay for. There's fat caliper things that you can do. Uh, there's some online calculators too where you can enter information and that is, I don't know how accurate those are, um, but, but my goal is to get down to 10% body fat. My goal is not a weight. Um, I might be able to put on more muscle that helps my body fat percentage, right? But might increase my weight. So uh, just wanted to share that with you. That's why uh, I've gained three pounds over the last week. And that's why I'm not upset about it at all. Um, and also, uh, as a takeaway, don't be a slave to the scale. It's only one part. It's only one measurement that you can use uh, to track your progress.